one of the things that still really gnaws away at me on a daily basis, and I would almost say every half an hour, are a lot of the questions I see on the Elemental forums or the Web Squadron forums or some of the notifications and DMs and comments I get on my own YouTube videos. I see a lot of questions being asked whereby people almost assume that they need to have an expert answer it or someone in the know. And if I'm really honest, a lot of those questions you could have gone and asked AI. For instance, they go and see a website and they're like, how do I replicate what this website is doing? A great example is on the Elemental page where they have that GSAP effect whereby the letters are highlighting as you scroll down. I did a tutorial on that on how you could do it. And how did I get to the bottom of that tutorial? All I did was right click and inspect the Elemental page, go to page source, save as whatever page source it is, download it to your hard drive, jump into chat GPT, be kind of clear with what you want. So you might need to even mention the ID or a class name or just say somewhere on this page there's a bit of text and it highlights line by line as I scroll down. Here's the page source. Can you tell me how to do this step by step inside of Elemental or whatever page builder you're using? Or maybe you just want to do it with HTML and CSS and JavaScript. So you're not even using Elemental or any page builder. And ChatGPT will chuck it out for you. And you can take what it gives you, stick it in a test page or a dummy site and see what it does. And if it doesn't give you exactly what you want, you can then go to preview of your page, download the page source of your page. By the way, the reason I'm saying download it is if you try and copy, your page source can be so huge that when you stick it into ChatGPT or Grok or Claude or Gemini, it will fail and go, oh, this is too much information. When you upload it, you can say, I tried that and this is what I got. And it wasn't working perfectly. And then ChatGPT will go, yep, because you did this wrong. Or yep, we need to refine it. Oh, yep, I can now see that Elemental does things a little differently. There's a wrapper or a div or something out of place. And it will refine the code. And then you can work with that. You can even say, you know, here's my page. So here's what I want, right? Here's the page source. Now here's my elemental page and I'm already using a pre-existing heading. And that heading I've given the class name of blah, 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 blah. Now give me the code to work with that. And ChatGPT can do it for you. But then there's so many people that have other questions as well, like what's the best booking plugin I can use? Just go to ChatGPT and ask it. Just say, you know, what's the best booking plugin free or premium or my maximum budget. And this is what I want to do. Don't just say I want a booking plugin. What are you trying to achieve? Deposits, you know, uh, date, time bookings and stuff like that. Are they allowed, do you have different seasonal prices for summer versus winter, adult, child, add-ons, upsells and all of that? There's so much you can feed into AI and it will start to generate and give you an answer. And if you don't like it, you refine your question or you prompt it a bit more. It's like saying, what's the best place to take my son on holiday next year that comes with a hot tub and it's got a playground or a play park nearby. And, you know, I don't have to travel too far and it's within like one and a half hours, 90 minute drive, give or take away from my current location. I mean, AI will give you some stuff and I'll go, no, I don't like any of them. Exclude them. Give me some more. It's so much more knowledgeable than the old days when we had to go to forums or forums, forums like Experts Exchange or Reddit. And you'd read ream after ream of reply and half of the replies were people mocking each other. And you're trying to decipher, does this work? Will this work? I'm not sure about that. That kind of looks like it might do the job. But a lot of questions people have, I would say that if you're using a code snippet or a plugin or a tool and you get conflict or an error message or something doesn't load or something fails or something doesn't look right, take a screenshot and upload it and ask ChatGPT. Copy and paste the error message. Tell it what plugin. Tell it what you were doing at the time that you think might be connected or you might not know. But just say, look, I came into my website. I ran an update on these plugins. Here's the plugins I'm using and I got this error. There will be a percent, a minority percentage 
whereby ChatGPT will get it wrong, right? It's machine learning or it doesn't give you the answer you want or it's just not clear. But 99% of the time, it will get it right. So many questions that I answer on the Web Squadron forum or other places, I'm actually taking the question posted, sticking it into chat GPT, and within seconds, I'm getting an answer. And then I'm saying, right, that looks good. I agree with that. Now reword the answer into one paragraph and I paste it in. Or if it gives a very complicated answer that's got a bit of code going on, I say to the person, you need to stick your question exactly how you wrote it to chat GPT, it will pump something out for you. And they usually come back with and go, I did that and it didn't work. And I go, yeah, but what didn't work? Uh, what failed? Was it the way it looked? Take a screenshot, record a video. You can record videos to show the animation or the problem or the hover effect or how when you click, nothing is happening or something's out of sync or whatever. And you can upload that into chat GPT as well. It's not just text. It's not just code. Videos, images, screenshots. So start utilizing AI because you can't just rely on AI. Okay, I want to give a caveat here. Sometimes speaking to someone is just as good. But you know what? When you really want an answer and you post a question, I might not see it. Someone else might not see it. A day might go by. You go and post somewhere else and no one else sees it there. And then suddenly someone replies on that forum and someone else replies on this forum and they're two completely different answers and both require a bit of work. Where do you spend the time? Both of them? One of them? Neither of them? But with ChatGPT, you can pump in your question, refine it. And by the way, you don't have to use just ChatGPT, okay? There's so many other AI tools out there. Just use the one you want. And I actually sometimes, when I get an answer from ChatGPT, I sometimes go to Grok to see if it would have taken or done something different with that same question and what the answer was. Would it have deviated a bit? So I take the answer and chuck it in and go, so this is what I want to achieve. Are there any vulnerabilities? Are there any server errors? Are there any risk? Could it be done better? And then sometimes I go to Gemini and sometimes I go back to ChatGPT. It's okay to do that but it's far quicker than waiting for someone to reply on a forum. Give it a go. AI is there to be our guide, our assistant. I don't want to say co-pilot, but it is kind of your co-pilot.